In this slide, we see a disease called chronic fibrinous bursitis. The reason why this appears to be a little bit of an oxymoron is because fibrin is usually associated with acute inflammatory exudative processes, whereas chronic is more fibrous. So uh, let's go into the reasons why. First of all, we can appreciate this as being a cyst, and that's what a bursa is. It is a cyst in the vicinity of a joint space that is mostly fibrous, but also lined by the same surface epithelium that the joint uh, space proper is, and that's mesothelial cells. So in the inside of the cyst, we will see a nice fine lining of mesothelial cells, just like we see in a joint uh, cavity, except a bursa is a pad, and it doesn't directly communicate uh, with the joint space. Nevertheless, it is basically has the same behavior in terms of histology and response to disease processes. Here, I think you could see at the highest power here, some very nice uh, synovial cells. And they line the inside of the cyst just as nicely and flatly as we see the cells uh, lining mesothelial surfaces or other synovial surfaces. Notice that the main um, body of the cyst wall is fibrous tissue. And here we see some blood and we also see some mitotic cells and some inflammatory cells because it's not a perfectly quiescent uh, a bursa. It's inflamed. Uh, one of the things that a bursa may do when it becomes inflamed is to have a little proliferation of its material and uh, it does that by having occasionally a somewhat of a papillary or infolded uh, uh, configuration. Here's part of a, a villus as well. So uh, these are technically a villi of the bursa, just like you can get villi of the joint space. Now, notice another very important thing about this bursa. Whereas we can see uh, in this villus here, or projection of the bursa, a pinkish granular texture, which is so characteristic of fibrin. Notice the fibrin is pink, it's granular, and it's relatively free of interwoven fibroblasts or other cells. Whereas a fibrous tissue, which, which is more of a chronic response, is very, very intricately uh, woven with fibroblasts. So that's one of the key things uh, to keep in mind. Not everything that's pink and eosinophilic and looks a little bit hyalinized is fibrous tissue. Up here you can see some wavy collagen bundles and fibroblasts, so characteristic of uh, fibrous tissue. But on the other hand, you see something very similar, but perhaps a little pinker, a little more granular, and a little less cellular, which is uh, fibrin. So there we have on the same slide both fibrin as well as collagenous fibrous tissue and thank you very much.